My No, No, No Day by Rebecca Patterson. My No, No, No Day. Yesterday I woke up and Bob was crawling around. My room, licking my jewellery. So I shouted, get out of my room! And that was the start of my no, no, no day. Then I came downstairs and saw that egg. I cried and cried and said, I can't eat that. And mummy said, you could eat it last week. Look at Bob eating his mashed banana. After the terrible egg, I didn't like my shoes either. So I took them off all by myself, shouting, no shoes. And then we had to go shopping and mummy said, please stop wriggling, Bella. But I couldn't stop wriggling and in the end I shouted, get me out. Mummy said, you will give Bob an earache and you were giving me a headache. And Bob poked me and said, ear. At lunchtime, Sasha and her mummy came to play and to have some peanut butter and grapes and cookie. But my cookie broke. Then I couldn't play nicely and I kept saying, no, you can't be princesses. And in the end, Sasha and her mummy went home. In the afternoon, it was my ballet lesson. I said, ballet is too itchy. But I was very loud and Mrs. Clark stopped playing the piano. And Mrs. Louisa said, dear, oh dear, perhaps you should sit in the corner then. On the way home, we met the lady who lives next door and she said that Bob was the sweetest thing she'd seen all day. And then she said, and how is Bella? I was walking a long way behind, so I had to shout, I have a hurting foot. And mummy said, could I keep my voice down and could I please stop lying on the sidewalk? Then it was time for my supper and my bath, but those peas were too hot. And our bath was too cold. And I was too wet. And it was too minty. After that, I rolled and rolled and said, No bed, no, 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 no bed, no, no. And mummy said, Well, I think someone needs to go to bed. But I rolled all over my room. And then I rolled into Bob's room and I said, Bed is for babies. And then I yawned, a little yawn. Then I crawled into my room and mummy said, who wants a story? And I said, nobody. But she came into my room anyway and we cuddled up and had my best story about fairies and cake. (sighs) I yawned again and said very quietly, today was a very bad day, mummy, sorry. And she kissed me goodnight and said, I know, we all have those days sometimes, but perhaps you will be more cheerful tomorrow. And... I was! I was! I was cheerful! All day long. Sometimes we all have a bad day, and that's okay. It's okay to have a bad day. Not every day can be a good day. But what can you do to try and make yourself feel happier when you're having one of those bad days? Maybe you could give a cuddle to somebody who you love. Or maybe you could get your favourite book and look at the pictures. Or maybe you're feeling tired and you just need a sleep. We all have bad days and that's okay. Try and think of some things that you can think of that make you happy when you're having a bad day.